You have no idea how long I've been waiting to open this package. What's up YouTube, how y'all doing? So, just to give y'all a little pre-information on, on, on this channel and the idea behind this channel and what I'm doing is, uh, for those of you who know me, some of my friends and family, some of the people who know me on social media, I work in the security industry and most of what we focus on and what we cater to is the industrial and commercial side of security. And we work a lot with video analytics and artificial intelligence and stuff like that to deploy units for mobile surveillance for any kind of remote site that may not have access to network capabilities or anything of that fashion. Um, this YouTube channel, what I'm looking at going for is more of um, to the residential applications for more for homeowners. So in this first video, uh, I'm going to kind of just cut to it. What we're going to do, the idea is I bought uh, this item here off of Amazon.com it is a canary camera so we're gonna do an unboxing review we're gonna open it up check it out try it out and see what it does for us I'm really excited um, I'm actually planning a trip to Cabo San Lucas and I'll be leaving Tuesday today is Sunday and I wanted to use this product here at home now first of all let me tell you this is my first YouTube video okay my brother has a YouTube channel that he does also and he let me borrow all his gear so the lights the stands, the camera, the, the, everything that I have here, my brother let me use. Of course, the GoPro and the camera, my bad. The camera and the GoPro are mine. Uh, but everything else, all the setup, the table, my brother let me borrow. And first of all, is I forgot one thing. I had to go back to his house and pick it up. I forgot another thing. I had to go back and get it. We're doing laundry. We're running around trying to get everything set up. And so it's been probably like four hours since I've been trying to do this video. So bear with me. So let's get to it. We're going to get to the unboxing. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to open this package. Alright, let's check it out. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, so the Canary, Canary View HD, the indoor HD security camera that connects to your phone. Okay, so a little information on this from what I read online. This is supposed to work like a, basically like a home video security system for you. So you're supposed to be able to set this up and it's real simple to set up according to what I was looking at online. So basically you hook it up to Wi-Fi, download the app, connect to it, and when you leave home, you arm it as a way, somebody comes in, then at that point, you get to uh, set the system off, set the alarm off, and even I think they even have it set up to where you can call uh, the police. So let's open it up. This is the Canary View HD. So this is a indoor camera. Okay, some of the specs on here. Let's see. It shows uh, get alerts when unfamiliar motion is detected. View live video, record activity anytime, anywhere. Uh, unlimited video access and storage for the last 30 days so my understanding is that that's with a membership so yeah get complete coverage with canary membership so you can get two-way talk with canary membership uh, desktop monitoring extended device warranty and more uh, let's see directly access pre uh, populated numbers for first responders schedule or set privacy mode to turn off all recording so it's a pretty cool features so let's open it up and see what we got All right, so let's check it out. Canary View. Uh, set up your Canary View in minutes. Plug it in. Simply place Canary View on a flat surface and plug it in on the outlet. Download the app. Outlet. All right. See what we got here. 
so this here looks like the power adapter all right five volts 2000 milliamps so this is our canary power source here is our canary device it's pretty sharp looking nice and glossy in the middle kind of got a flat matte black matte look on the sides kind of looks like a um, like a speaker you know kind of looks like a speaker really sleek you can kind of set it up somewhere and really nonchalant nobody ever even noticed it we got some instructions meet your canary camera hello canary camera setup is simple plug it in simply place your camera on a flat surface and plug it into an outlet download the app get connected follow the in-app instructions to securely connect your canary camera via Wi-Fi <clears throat> and then this tells us uh, speakers up top our camera is here and our microphone is there I don't know if you can see that I'll show that to you there we got our speaker up top so that looks pretty sharp and then we have this is our six foot charging cable here I'm gonna go ahead and unroll that so that I can get that plugged in let's see ah! I'm trying to get away from me alright I'll move these instructions out to the side see what else we got here looks like that's it so fairly simple I mean there's there's not very much in the box I mean um, got your power cable here and uh, the canary and the little small transformer that was in the box so uh, All right, so we're going to go ahead and try it out on the um, iPad is how we're going to do this. So we'll go to the App Store, and it says here, I guess it's just called Canary. Now, this is the first time that I see this item. This is the first time that I pull it out of a box and look at it. I've never messed with this item before, so this review is totally brand new. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that that's it. So in the meantime, um, it says here, plug it in and then download the app. So while the app is downloading, I will plug this in. And let's see what it does. Oh, we have a LED indicator on the bottom. Between like white and blue. So now the light's blue. Y'all can see that there. I'm gonna place this upside down just so that y'all can follow the light with me. Alright, Canary app is downloaded, so let's open that up. Get started. Create an account. Alright, let's see. Alright, so I've set up uh, my basic personal information, the address, uh, email address, password, uh, phone number, and then uh, there was a question also about geofencing. So it kind of drew an area 
around where uh, my home is so that it could det it, I guess the purpose behind that is so that it can detect whether um, everybody who has the application who's here at the house when they drive away from home then it'll arm the system as a way so it'll pick up if the phone is within distance of the home this way it'll disarm it and it doesn't send unnecessary alerts I'm assuming thus far this is what that's for so going back to the app uh, I have the Canary View uh, indoor HD camera that is the one I have here so we're gonna select that one uh, plug in your Canary View so we have it plugged in now okay it says uh, turn Bluetooth on go to your iPad settings turn on Bluetooth uh, enable settings so let's go to settings <coughs> And we will go to Bluetooth. Wonder why it's not. Touch the top of the device until it flashes blue. Ah. I see what it's doing there. I didn't follow the instructions the right way. I guess I had to hit next. So I went to settings, turned on my Bluetooth, then I went back to that because it wasn't finding it. Uh, apparently you have to touch the top of the uh, device and then the little indicator at the bottom it'll flash blue. So it found it. Um, let's uh, Connecting to Wi Fi now. Alright, so give the Canary View a custom name or name it after its location. Uh, we're going to name it Living Room. Next. Uh, connected and update your Canary View needs to be updated to the latest firmware. It's going to take several minutes. Do not unplug your device. Take a moment to learn more about Canary. So continue. Okay, so it's going to give us a little information on it. Canary, Canary automatically switches modes when you come and go. So when all users are away, it will record. It will record people only. Oh, let's go back. Yeah, all motion. I want to set all motion in mine. When all users are away, send alerts for all motion. When a user is home, watch live is okay. When a user is home and asleep, send alerts for people only. When do you usually go to bed and wake up? All right, we're gonna say ten thirty. We wake up about 7.30. Okay, privacy. Set Canary to private any time to complete. Turn off audio with all video recording. Device lights. A white light will appear when Canary records motion or someone is watching live. It's off when set to private. Still updating. Do not unplug your device. So I guess we just got to wait for it to finish updating. All right, so by the looks of it, it looks like this yellow bar is indicating how fast. Look, I'm going to turn this over just so you can see the indicator light. Uh-oh, we got a flashing light now. Stop Lincoln. I'm going to assume it's done. It says update successful. Your Canary View is now using the latest firmware. So let's flip it right side back up. Let's go to next. All right, get the most out of the Canary with membership. Uh, the Canary membership includes 30 days of full video history, two way talk, desktop streaming, personal safety button. Uh, unlimited downloads 
Okay, no thanks. Let's start with the free trial. For the next month, access full length videos and extend your timeline from 24 hours to 30 days. Skip free trial. Setup is complete. You're all set up. Thanks for trusting Canary to keep you safe and secure. So, done. Start with the basics. Take a quick tutorial to learn how to navigate the Canary app. Alright, watch live. Hey, look at that. <clears throat> Off the top, a little laggy. I'm going to mute the sound. It's a little jumpy. I'm not liking that this far. Talk. You have to activate membership or talk. Uh, what else? Tap here, away mode. So let's see what happens when we test it in away mode. So I'm going to get up and take my iPad with me. And I'm going to walk away from it. So let's see, I walk in front of it, see if it triggers an alert, which it should. I got an alert just a minute ago when I stepped away. The alert was of before I actually set it to away mode. You follow me? So when I got up, grabbed my iPad and I walked away and then out of the field of view of the camera of about maybe 10, 15 seconds later, I hit away mode and then it sent me an alert but it sent me an alert of when I was grabbing my iPad and walking away so it doesn't seem like it's very efficient so far um, so let's see let me grab this walk back away and I haven't gotten any alerts yet okay so I just got an alert living room motion detected so here's the one I got a few minutes ago. Looks like there's a person in the home. Unable to play video. Please try again later. Okay, so here's my history of the videos. So there's the first motion detected in away mode. iPad with me. I'm going to walk away from it. So you see how it, it actually went off and triggered an alert in away mode when I still wasn't in away mode at that point. And then... So it's kind of odd. See, it says motion detected in away mode. Then it tells you here, Gary set canary to away mode, which is the next event. So it's just a little confusing. A uh, person spotted in away mode. That's the one we just watched. Grab this, walk back away. And then watch live. So let's mute the volume. Let's see if that lagginess went away.
and that's that we're all sitting here, you know. I'm sitting here with the camera in front of me. My Wi-Fi router is literally my Wi-Fi router is literally right behind it. Uh, we're connected to the network. Everything's set up, hooked up right. So there's there's a lag in it somewhere that that I'm not liking this far. Um, I haven't fully tested it to to try it when I'm away from home and see how accurate the the alerts are and everything else to it. But <clears throat> what I will tell you guys, how do you exit out of live mode? X here. Okay, hit home. All right, so overall in the app, uh, from the looks of everything, whenever I was testing out the alerts, um, my camera cut off at about a 30 minute mark and so I kind of went through the whole deal and then finished my video and realized that it wasn't recording like the last 10 minutes of what I had just said. So I'm going to kind of just go over that quickly. Anyway, so the way the alerts had worked is I got up, I walked away, I armed it to away mode. And in down here in the application, if you look at the uh, timeline reviews, okay, Let's see if you can see that, um, it shows where I, um, I got up and walked away and then it'll show, you, it'll show you where it was armed to away mode. Okay, so I don't know why I got a notification if I hadn't armed it to away mode yet. It was telling me that somebody was in the home, but I hadn't armed it away yet. So anyways, that's kind of um, what had gone on with it. So the, alert, the alerts are a little wonky. I, I don't know if they're not, if they haven't got that down yet, if they haven't fixed the kinks in it yet. So we're still working on, on playing with this and checking out and seeing, seeing where it takes us. But like I said... I'll be leaving in a couple days to uh, on vacation, and I'm gonna test it out here at my apartment. I'm gonna hook it up, and there won't be anybody here, but I'm just gonna see what kind of alerts I get from it. I mean, I don't know if it picks up a fly or something moving around, or uh, the light changes in the environment, if, it, if that'll cause it, because I know some cameras will cause light changes to send off some kind of alerts. Um, as far as uh, the other stuff that I work with on, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, <clears throat> We're going to test the alerts out. We'll see how it works. And then I'll do a follow-up video later, let you guys know how it all went. Um, and I'll get to test it for a week straight. So there won't be anybody home for a week straight, which kind of sucks because uh, I'd like to test it out whenever we first show up home and all that. But I'll, I'll try it again after I get back to see how it works out. Um, and then I'll, I'll post up uh, a follow-up video on it and let you know how that worked out as well. Okay. Um... As far as everything else goes, I think that we're good for now. That's pretty much the update. The um, that's pretty much the description on unboxing this, opening the item up, checking it out, hooking it up, and seeing how everything works. The setup process. We went through the entire entire thing with you, and you can see it's not that difficult. It's not that hard to set up. So overall, this device, I would say that for a small apartment, just a real basic residential setup. For $50, you know, $49.99 on Amazon.com, it's not a bad deal. Um, it shows there's an indicator light on the bottom which uh, will turn white if somebody's looking at the live view. So you'll be able to see that uh, come up. Um, and then it's got audio as well so you can hear through it. So it's, it's, it's a neat device. It's not something that I would say, hey man, uh, you absolutely got to go out and buy this device. You absolutely need to go out. But it's cool. I mean, it's a cool item to have. It looks like a little speaker, set it up on a bookshelf, and get going to recording. Okay? Uh, anyways, this is my first YouTube video, guys. Uh, show me some love. Hit subscribe. Hit the like button. And I will follow up with more tech videos. The goal here is for me to produce any kind of security updates or any kind of uh, security devices that come out, any kind of new stuff post them so that you guys can take a look at them, see them, check them out, and uh, keep you up to date. If there's anything that you guys would like me to review, let me know. Drop it in the comments, and uh, let me know what it is you'd like for me to check out, okay? Hit like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.